Well, hello. It's my weekend again in Osaka, Japan. Uh, last night it was very rainy, so uh, I am saving my larger hike for tomorrow when it's supposed to clear up and be more sunny. Uh, I think I'm hopefully going to do Hiei, which is a, a really cool uh, temple up in the mountains. Uh, I'll get more information about it tomorrow if I go. Uh, last time I got lost on my way down, so I'm really excited to try to do it again and and get actually back safely. Uh, maybe I'll tell the story of what happened to me uh, t during that one. But now I'm going to um, I'm going to try to do a little bit more studying of the places I go to beforehand, or maybe afterwards in general, so I can still stay sort of a stupid punk rocker traveling and hiking. But I've been to uh, where I, I'm going to go today uh, quite a few times, called Mino Falls. Um, so I was going to read a little bit about it firsthand, and I, I, I read this and I, I thought it was interesting to, uh, to read here. I think the end of it is pretty funny. So here it goes. Uh, this is just from Wikipedia. It says, uh, Mino Falls, or Mino, is a city in Osaka Prefecture, Japan, about 15 kilometers north of the center of the city of Osaka. It is accessed by the Hankyu Railway, about 30 minutes from Umeda Station. Its name is commonly ro romanized as Mino, or Mino, or Minu. That's a M-I-N-O-O, -O, uh, because uh, actually the it's when one of the when the Japans put the kanji for the O sound, the two of them uh, together, uh, they well actually it's kind of a little bit complicated. But if you know a little bit about the Japanese language, there's uh, consonant and vowel uh, couples couplings. There's very few consonants or vowels that are separate separate. So there's a lot of them with the O sound on it. So two O's together doesn't make an O sound. It just makes a, a longer O sound. So um, that's what Mino is actually has a longer O. Uh, and this says, however, the city government how, now officially uses the spelling Mino, M-I-N-O-H, in English, which is odd because it doesn't have that long O anymore. But we don't really do that long O in the English language. So uh, Mino, but it's actually Mino. This city was incorporated on December 1st, 1956. As of October 2016, the city has an estimated population of 134,435 people and a population density of 2,800 per 2, persons per kilometer. Its total area is 47.84 kilometers to the cube, or to the second power. I don't know what any of that means, but, but this is getting to what I want to read. Mino is best known for... Meiji no Mori Mino Quasi National Park. That's where I'm going to go today. One of Japan's oldest national parks, which houses a large population of wild monkeys. Uh, last time I saw the wild monkeys, uh, that's on the sort of the crazier paths you could take. Today, I think I'm just going to take the sort of uh, tourist path up since it's been raining and the, the ground is all dirty and, I mean, all muddy and deep. Um... It has a picturesque waterfall at the top. I will show you that later. Uh, the 1,200-year-old Buddhist temple Katsuoji, Katsuoji, famous for its huge collection of Daduma dolls, is located here. Daduma, Daruma, or da Daruma for us. Uh, I didn't know that. I don't know if I saw that before. I'll have to look into that. Uh, Miss, this is the part I like. Mr. Donut opened its first Japanese shop in Mino in 1971. Mino has an IMAX movie theater. Uh, Mr. Donuts is actually still uh, very popular here. It's probably the, the biggest chain of donuts. Maybe Dunkin' is a little bigger still here, but I think I think Mr. Donuts, is, is its market now is in Japan. Um, so I will go on that hike. And uh, I will talk to you then and after then. Uh, thank you. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful day today. I'm going on my Mino Falls, Mino Falls hike. Uh, this is my bike right here in the rack at the Kagendori House where I work for Universal Studios. Uh, it's really, it's turning out to be a sort of really beautiful day even though it was all rainy all night and the ground is still probably uh, a little uh, wet so I'm gonna save a big hike for tomorrow today is more one of my favorite sort of casual places to go which is Mino Falls has a beautiful temple and uh, a huge waterfall at the top so I'm gonna get on uh, like three trains right now 
and then I'll see you there unless something interesting happens on the way. Okay, I just got off my three trains and now um, I'm going to show you this uh, the system. Uh, sometimes it's hard to tell where you're going um, by the signs, but if you have Google Maps, it works pretty well. And uh, if you're on the right train, uh, you can get the lowest price ticket here. And then uh, actually when you get to where you are going, they always have these, oh, uh, where are they? Those little machines. Oh, this, oh, it's right at the, I'm at the fare adjustment machine, where you can actually put your ticket in there. And it'll tell you, oh, I don't owe anything. I made up overpaid. So, but sometimes you can actually uh, you can get the price there and it'll tell you how much more you owe. Um, so, if you don't know a price of a ticket, just get the lowest one that the machine will let you do, and then you can worry about it on the other end of your trip. Now, I've actually done uh, Mino Falls quite a few times, and I always like to start it out by sitting on this bench over here, uh, which I'll show you right now. And I like to sit with this little guy right here, if you can see him. See his face? Yeah, he's got a really cute face there. Look at me, I'm mad, I'm angry. Uh, so this is the little Mino Falls guy they have here. Um, that's the bench I sit on before I start walking out this area, which will lead you right to the falls. Walk here in Mino Falls is uh, more considered a, a therapeutic walk in the Mino Woods. Uh, there are some uh, more extreme hikes around here, I think, but uh, I haven't found some. One day I just got lost in the hills here and uh, I just stayed on the streets and I couldn't actually find the path, but I did see some monkeys. Uh, so this is the first sign you'll see. Oh, look, and there's a spider right there too. Look at that spider. Yikes. Those, those kind of spiders are all over the place here. Right at the foot of this walk, Mino Falls, is a hotel called the Mino Conco Hotel. Never stayed here, but uh, it looks pretty cool. It has this really weird elevator that's on the outside of the building. Uh, but I think there's some hot springs around here too, and uh, maybe it's an onsen. I'll look into that later. But that's right here at the foot of the of the hill leading up to the Mino Falls. And there's a bunch of shops you can uh, buy some. Cool, there's a lot of cool things you can get here. And this time of season, um, they actually collect the leaves that fall on the ground and they fry them. I forgot what that's called, but I'll probably find out the name of that uh, while I'm... Maybe on the way down, I'll try to talk to someone. Um, but a lot of them are closed today. It's not the... This is still just right at the, the bottom. We haven't even got up into the falls yet, but uh, it, it, the road rides the side of this river that goes up the... I don't know if it's considered a mountain or not, uh, I guess it is called Mountain Mino, or Mino, so maybe, so, but there's a, the water starts to loosen down there and goes all the way to the top. I like this statue here that they got still at the foot of the beginning of the, the walk. Uh, this man carrying a woman, uh, an old couple. I don't know what that says. Um, it's a really cool statue right here. Once you start, it gets pretty scenic right away. These uh, old buildings are pretty, very Japanese, very cool looking. It's sort of buried into the bushes and the trees and alongside the water flowing down. Uh, there's also a side path I'm going to take that I discovered last time. Where you can, there's a viewpoint where you can uh, look out over the city. Um, I'm going to do that again this time to show you. After only about 10 minutes up, you have this uh, big building here that breaks the uh, sort of a beautiful river view. But it's actually uh, here a pretty cool place. I've not gone yet. It's an insect museum. Uh, so if you want or if you're inclined, go into the insect museum here at Minu Falls. This small tori here, or tori, uh, reminded me that I was just doing some Japanese lessons 
and I think the word for bird is also Cody. Uh, I was going to look into that when I got home to see if they are actually the same word. I imagine they different. They have a different kanji, but they are basically the same vowels. I mean, the same letters. We'll find out when I get back. So I made it up to the viewing area at the top here. Uh, and you see you can have this nice little view of the city over there. All the little buildings looking like little teeny sugar cubes. Um, and there's a nice little place you could sit here. Um, it isn't, you know, isn't anything completely awe-inspiring, but if you want to just get a little uh, exercise in while you're going to the Mino Falls, you can stop here. Also, uh, I'll tell you that um, see these mountains up here? Um, I was, last time I was here, I, I stayed and ate a little sandwich over here where my bag is. Then I walked over and I saw this sign here, of course, that I can't read. Um, and of course, this wouldn't make sense because that's going back to Minnow Falls. So somewhere in there is probably a falls. <laughs> um, but then I decided uh, to take this path with this little figure in there. I should learn something. I've seen this one before. Uh, and I walked quite a while. I walked for about a few hours and then it uh, led me to a street and then with a bunch of monkeys on a sign. So I I crossed the street and went up uh, the mountain farther and farther until I was into some like barbed wire. It looked like an army facility at the top of this uh, mountain and uh, it started getting dark <laughs> once again. I didn't know where I was. And I ended up all the way on the other side of this mountain over here. And then, um, you know, where we're going to be going today, to Minnow Falls, I ended up coming down the back way of it. Uh, so that was interesting. And luckily, the Minnow Falls actually has lighting at night, so it's not a bad walk at night. But up there in the mountainy uh, tree area, that's not such a good place to hike at night, unless you have a flashlight and... You know what the fuck you're doing. Oh, the hell you're doing. So I was just showing you that fella there because uh, he was in back of me when I was heading up this uh, viewpoint where I showed you the view at the top of the mountain uh, and then he left when I got there and then as I'm coming down he's going back up again this guy's probably in his 70s and it looks like he probably does this uh, for a couple hours up and down and just the way up I was already exhausted and this guy probably does it like at least looks like three or four times uh, I was just pretty wowed by that. <laughs> I mean, it's not a huge hike at all, but uh, for him to... But these steps have been really sort of steep. You get up pretty fast into this uh, that little viewing area, but I was exhausted when I got up there and sweating profusely, and, and he's, he's doing it again. Uh, Japanese people, really good at the hiking. Uh, he came down from the mountain. I don't know if you could see this. Um, but this time here in Mino Falls is the most spiders and spider webs that I've ever seen here in Japan. I don't know if it's the time of the uh, year, the month. It's October 3rd, so keep that in mind. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but I'll also show you something else that I'm getting into. But I have to look it up maybe because this is the most spiders I've ever seen in Japan. And there are always these same sort of really weird green looking one. There he is. Hanging out right there. Ugh. Not moving. Waiting for insects. Um, also spider. The word for spider is uh, Kumodo. Or Kumori. Oh sorry. Kumori. Which also means cloud. Which is interesting. I'm going to bring this down smaller now so it doesn't Make you dizzy. Um, now we're uh, into the 
temple area. Um, this is one of the first temples I saw when I came to Japan. Uh, and there was a wedding actually going on on this bridge right over here. Um, this is just a really peaceful uh, area that I like a lot. Sort of sparse in the things around it, but uh, it's very old. I think it was about 1200 years old, this area. So I'm in the little temple area here at uh, Mino Falls. Um, this is this really cool old, old, old uh, stone wall. Some of it might have been here for about 1,200 years ago. That's how old this temple is. Ooh, got a little wind going here. Um, I took a little video beforehand, but uh, it didn't it, it didn't work again. I don't know what's going on with this phone. It's a new phone. Um, but maybe someone else knows. Is there a better video program I can app I can download? Because I don't have anything on it. I even took off all the pictures and videos in here and it's still uh, some of the videos just don't work it stays at zero but here's a little cool um, fire that they still light here uh, and um, of course another toady and I think I'm gonna go up this little side area here yeah. up these stairs and So here we are at the top of that staircase. Um, I just had to delete the Duolingo app, um, which I just did down just downloaded a little while ago for the Japanese. But this phone isn't letting me do many videos. Um, I must have something on here that I don't know eating up storage. But anyway, you don't want to hear all about that. So uh, I really like this little uh, area up here. I had forgotten about it. Uh, the last two times I've been here, I didn't come up here. Um, but my first time here, I took quite a few pictures with this uh, lovely statue with the blue, beautiful sky in the background. Uh, I might take a couple again now. Um, in the distance there, you can start seeing the falls, but I wanted to get you a little bit of a view um, before we actually get there, but you can hear it. Um, and there's some more beautiful trees all along the way, some power cords. Uh, this is a little viewing area off to the side. There's a lot of these little areas there, concrete, not really too interesting looking. Uh, but now we're actually going to go down to the falls. There's all these nice little uh, side paths you can take, Mino Falls. Like I said, it's not a huge hike. If you stay on the main uh, tourist paths, people go jogging here. Um, but there are a lot of really cool little, uh, like I said, side paths that are really old and have these uh, beautiful, cool rock and cement paths. Um, and here, uh, it's just a restroom, but it still looks pretty cool. Um, this is a pretty famous bridge here that people like to take pictures on and, and view the falls from. Uh, my knees are hurting already. These Sometimes these uh, big steps on these smaller uh, hills are harder on the knees for me than uh, in the hikes I do. Uh, this area. There's the water running along. Um, and if you come early enough, you can actually get a little cool uh, fish on sticks sort of food here, or some ice cream. Um, plenty of places to, to eat on this little path. And the bridge. The people sitting around. Guys getting a picture of himself looking like he's drinking out of the falls. The 
back and zoom up on the funny. <laughs> At Mino Falls, you have to watch out for the Sisyphus monkeys, who are ironically smiling while rolling boulders up a mountain. So I think I might actually enjoy the uh, walk back down from Mino Falls and the walk up, because I think you're uh, on your way up, you're uh, sort of, you know, you're waiting for the big thing at the end of the walk, which is the falls. And it's, it is impressive and it's really nice to sit there uh, and feel the wind created from the, uh, the falls. But I think uh, the walk back, uh, if you come here, allow yourself the time to just sort of take in uh, all of the environment. And if you're here when it's dark, uh, the, they light up those nice uh, sort of street lamps that are here and uh, just take your time along the water. So I'm gonna go off down this side path here on the way down. Um, I call there being a nice uh, orange bridge that I like around here. As you see the regular path is up along the side there. And this one sort of backs up a little bit. Hmm. As you can tell, I don't really seem to have a lot of things to say today. This is a very cheap ride from uh, Osaka. It's definitely uh, doable. It only cost me about uh, three, 400 yen to get here. It's like a little less than four bucks. Yeah. I think this is like this is an alternative route to come down from the falls. I think this path, of course, is another path. There's so many bathrooms here, actually. And um, this just leads, I think, probably back up, back to the falls. Oh, this is like a little... It's oh, nice. Nice little walk down these stairs.
Oh, so you can actually walk down and buy the, the water down here. That's nice. You see the beautiful bridge there. Go down. All the way down to the water. That's nice. And even stand on some rocks in the middle of the flowing water here. All right. So I was just at that bridge right here. I'm on the other side of it. Took some nice pictures. Uh, and then I saw this cool little uh, alleyway to the Devil's Privy, to continue a joke. Um, I imagine there's not probably much uh, in here. Um, but it's a pretty cool natural uh, passageway between these rocks. Uh, Yes, it goes to another. Oh, yeah, you can walk along the whole river on this side too. I'm now on the opposite side I was when I was walking to that bridge, of course, that's what bridges are for, um, but I don't, I think this might just eventually cross back over again. There is um, some temple grounds here that are the regular public do not have access to, so this thing I'm following now might lead to a path that eventually is closed off. I don't know. This actually one, this is, this is, this one is new for me. I haven't taken this one, but I imagine, like I said, it's just gonna take me to some place where I can cross over again. But that's what's also just really nice about Mino Falls here, all these cool little side paths. Um, and often they don't really lead anywhere, <laughs> but it's still really beautiful. And, uh, nice solitary calming walk with the water rushing next to you. You can see these people on the regular path jogging. That's the way I came up on the other side over there. Yeah, I think this just might take me all the way back. Very wet today. That's why I did not do a regular hike. Hopefully by tomorrow a lot of this will dry up and I can get back up into the big mountains. Alright, I'm gonna keep following this path, see where it leads. Yeah, the other times I've gone here, I've been on the other side of this cool looking building here that just sits in the middle of the river, or on the side of the river, uh, usually with the other path. You can look uh, right behind there is usually where you walk. Oh, uh, yeah, there's people right there walking right up over there. That's the normal path. Um, so this is really pretty. You get to see a, a pretty view of the this building. I don't know if, if it's like a I might have to look it up because I don't know, it's hard to find these things online. It, it, they're mostly in Japanese. But it doesn't look like anybody is staying there right now. So it might be just the quarters of the people that take care of the area. I thought it was like a uh, you know, air, you know, bed and breakfast or something in the middle of this beautiful area, but I don't see it any signs of life 
here at all. Well, I just I just landed in the area that meets back up. And even though that's pointing that way, it's probably pointing to the falls, correct, right? Remember that all this kanji from before? But um here's, I think that's just someone's house. <laughs> um here's a little statue. What is this? Looks like there's a little statue. This person walking. Oh, nice statue. There's a water fountain next to it. What is this one? Nice little backyardy area. Um, but anyway, as I was saying, I hooked up back up to the the main path and like I had figured, there's another bridge to carry me back to the appropriate place to be, I think. Oh, no, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Back up this way. Oh, I'm still on the opposite side of the Oh, no, no. This is the main path. I still love these old brick walls. They're so amazing. Yeah, I'm back at uh, the main temple. Which now that I figured out my video problems, because I am an idiot, but I have been able to maintain trying to keep videos going. So I'm going to go back up into this area. Um, I might have gotten a little bit of me talking about it, but the last time I was here, I sat at this little area and took a picture. I think it's a really cool arrangement of little statues and that big wall over there. And these lanterns again. See the sky a little bit better now. Actually, let me see. Oh, look at that! It just got dark. I just made that happen. I thought I could see the sky better. But no. Um, so those are the steps I went up in the beginning of this trip, where I was talking about the. I've been calling them lanterns, but I don't know what they are actually called on the sides of the staircases leading up to temple areas. Oh, uh, here's a small little side road. Oh golly. Oh, here's a little shrine planted back here and a bucket. <laughs> Maybe this is the smallest waterfall in Mino Falls. Maybe it's mini Mino Falls. There's a bucket for mini Mino Falls. These are, I think this just might, well, I don't know. Here's a little bit of a path. Oh, there is somebody up there. I should be quiet. There's an old lady over there. There's a lady too. This is a nice little Oh, it's just an alternative route to not taking the stairs. <laughs> so, this is where I was up here before. Wow, oh, look at that school. It looks very cool at night, you know. Well, it's not really 
completely night yet. There's still some light brightness in the sky. Someone's banging the gong. We should better get it on. I'm not even going to laugh at my own joke. Alright, I'm going to walk around here a little bit. There's just something about this uh, area of Mino Falls in this temple. It's not the, the largest temple area. It's actually, it's very small. But it's so secluded up in this, tucked in this little area here, that every time I find myself just spending almost an hour just uh, wandering this little area. Like I said, it's not even that big, but every time I, found a, I find a little nook and cranny each time, and I really like, there's not even much to this, but I really like this little area over here behind uh, the normal walking area, right over here. Uh, right up, set up right up against the hills, the mountains. Um, maybe I'll do a little walk without it on my face. So this fairly exorcist shot that I'm giving you right now might be one of the last on um, this leaving Mino Falls. All you can see is darkness <laughs> and maybe a few lights here and there. Um, but this is one of the hikes I actually would recommend doing at night. It's not like getting stuck in the mountains. It's a really well lit path, although it looks really dark right now. Um, But I would suggest going, um, like I did, maybe 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, spend some uh, quality time getting up to the falls and allowing, it the, uh, allowing yourself to be there at uh, dusk time. Um, so this walk is back is really quite uh, tranquil. That's the word I was trying to find earlier. Um, I might actually try to get a battery for this phone because it's already running out of power. And uh, I have a longer hike tomorrow, Kiei, if I can uh, make it happen and if it doesn't rain. Um, so if this power doesn't run out completely, I might show you a quick glimpse into the world of Umeda, a Yorubashi camera, if it's still open. I think it might be open to a 9 or 10. Not sure. Um, but if not, uh, I'll say something in my outro. But here is Mino Falls, a little blurry, even more blurry, blurry fading out. Well, hello. I hope you enjoyed that. I took that one a little bit more casually, and I I don't know if it was exciting or not, but I took more time on just shooting things and not talking as much. Um, so I just want to, and uh, I also, I did go get a battery for my camera, but I took some of the sh uh, footage, and it wasn't that interesting. Um, but maybe sometime I will show the magnificence of Yodobashi camera, which is 10 floors, um, and it's located in uh, or by the Osaka station. Um, so here's uh, some things that I said. That that hotel actually was an onsen, which is uh, has a, a fresh spring water place where you can um, bathe naked. Um, so that's called the Kanko Hotel, but it was really expensive. I looked it up; it was like 300 bucks for a night. Um, also, the name of the leaves. Uh, they're fried maple leaves, and those are called uh, 
momiji momiji yes momiji i might show a picture of those if i can figure out how to do that uh man woman statue oh yes yes uh i saw the statue of the man carrying the woman and i just read this thing online that i kind of like so i'm going to read that for you too um oh oh no here it is okay uh, the shopping street gradually turns into Mino Park, uh, rich in nature and culture. Early in the trail, you will see the statue of a man celebrated for carrying his mother on his back. Similarly, about two kilo kilometers into the trail, I didn't show you this, you will encounter a second statue of Hideo Noguchi, a prominent Japanese bacteriologist who once visited Mino with his mother, emphasizing the importance placed on family by the Mino community. It's very, yeah, it's definitely a very family-oriented area, and it makes sense that statues sort of emulate that idea also. Um, also, uh, I looked up Tori and Tori. I was talking about the, the, the poles that you'll see at temples, the big, huge things that looks like a pie symbol. Um, and then I thought um, it also meant bird. Um, it is sort of true. Of course, they have different kanji, and I'll talk about another that one again in the next one. Um, but the difference is that tori, and I, I might not be able to do it justice, um, bird, it, there's only one I at the end, whereas tori, for the uh, pie symbol temple, you know, poles, uh, have a double I. So there's a longer E sound at the end. So I think it's tori for bird, and tori, or tori, for um, for those poles, um, I need to learn a little bit more about Japanese. To know that for sure, but that's that's the basic idea. Um, and then I also talk. Did I mention that I, I, I was uh, uh, spiders? There's a lot of spiders. I didn't look that up, but there was spiders everywhere, and a certain type. If you know that type, maybe you can put it below in the comments. They all seem to be similarly. The same type of spider in that area um, but what I looked up is that kumo is actually the word for spider and for cloud I was confusing it with uh, cloudy which is kumodi or kumo kumoda depending on the context once again I could be wrong about that um, but of course they have different kanji uh, as someone states online a Japanese person doesn't look up in the sky and say look at all those spiders you know um, although, unless the sky is raining spiders, then, then they might get confused and say, Kumo, 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 you know, spiders and clouds. Kumo to Kumo. Um, that's it. So that was another episode. And I didn't get to go hiking the next day. I woke up too late to go to Hiei. Um, I need to start with that one early because last time I got lost in the mountains and I stumbled down this side of this mountainy hill and got all dirty and ended up... Uh, in some farmer's backyard and uh, I'll talk about that adventure when I do that but I'm gonna try to get there early and hopefully it'll be a uh, good weather for my next week's holiday and I will tackle that uh, hike he uh, so thank you this has been an uh, idiots guide to a punk rock idiots guide to hiking and or getting lost and I'm doing a casually laying on my stomach on my bed for this last one. So I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you very much for watching these. Goodbye.